Well, it's the next day and uh, I think I'm gonna take a break from the circuits for a bit because I'm getting really tired of having only one LED blinking at a time. So I'm gonna start working on um, my LED placements so I can get a couple or at least a section made. And that way I'll, ha I'll be able to just install it and have it ready to go with the LEDs and then kind of work for it with it from there have long leads so I can play with it on the table, but I wanna be able to see this in action or see how it's actually progressing because when I see one and two, it's kinda of hard to decipher where, like the beginning and end. I mean, yeah, it's on the first one of the first sequence and the last one of the first sequence, but it's still nice to see the whole thing just run through. So, working on these tail lights, I'm going to, the plan is, I'm going to 3D print an inner piece that will hold the LEDs in place, and that way my spacing will all be perfect. Um, I was thinking about just building something and drilling it out, but with a 3D printer, I can make sure everything's placed perfectly. <clears throat> so, we'll get going on that. The first step that I'm working on is I've got the lenses sitting down here, and I've got paper. I'm going to try to trace out the shape, get dimensions, and then transfer that onto the computer. I've been delaying this part for the longest time because this is the part that I really enjoy. I really like this um, building something in virtual space, being able to print it out and have a product in your hand. really like that. But I know that I will spend way too much time doing this stuff. I'll spend days making sure it's perfect and every corner fits perfectly. That's one of my downfalls. Anyways, we'll get working on this and figure out um, what we need to do. So first, we'll trace this out. We'll get measurements and try to make it perfect. And that way we can take those, flip it for the other side, and it should be all perfectly fine. Cool, let's get to it. So the engine blowing up definitely put a little bit of a damper on everything. Everything just kind of stopped. And you can see I still have a lot of work to do on this lens to get those ridges out. I'm gonna have to leave those two in there because they're just molding marks. But the inners are still all done. So now I'm gonna take a piece of paper and along this ridge that's right here, take this piece of paper and a pencil and just trace it out. And that way I'll get a shape, the exact shape, and then I'll transfer measurements, the exact measurements in here. And then I can load that picture in and format it to make the uh, picture match the dimensions actually in the program. And that way we can get a perfect match for our actual lens. there we go now we've got 3d objects since this has got a huge curve into a 2d object now we can take that take some measurements on what the actual measurements are and go in and put this into the computer
Well, it's super, super late, and I didn't want to bore you with all the computer stuff, but, um, and all the decisions, decision making. I finally think I found one that I like that I'm going to go ahead and move forward to printing. I might think on it. I'm going to wait tonight and I'll think on it, but I'm pretty sure I'll be using this one to at least prototype at this stage. So I'm going to print this out on a 3D printer and it's curved so I'll be able to I'll make a really thin layer so I can kind of make it however I need to kind of mold it however I want to <laughs> so I can mold it any way that I need to because it does curve but this was just going through and making sure that I know how I want to have each of my LEDs kind of set up and different options I guess that I have so I'll show you a couple of the options that I went through. So this is the first iteration of what I was going through. I was trying to figure out what to do with this side over here and then figure out how I was wanting to run each of my LEDs. From there, I managed to come up with just simple straight up and down, but I wasn't liking how this area was looking. Went through, reworked it a little bit more, Finally came up with this idea to kind of have it come around the red LEDs to come around this way Didn't quite fall in love with it. So I was working for a long time and finally came up with This this should be The end result that I'm looking for. This is the inner tail light right here This is the outer tail light and it'll chase from this side out this way so I, I'm not sure if I love how this section is set up. I gotta have three because three makes a really good pairing. All these will be threes for the LEDs. You wanna use three LEDs with a resistor to give you the brightest possible. Um, once you start adding like four or five, it starts to get dimmer. You have to use different resistors to kind of get close and it's not gonna be uniform. So I wanna try to use as uniform amount as I can, but that's, I think, what it's gonna look like. So those are the kind of the process that I went through figuring out what I wanna do, how I was gonna handle things, looking at different things, and who knows, I might come up with a different idea. I, when I was trying to figure this out, I was coming up with all types of different crazy ideas on how I wanted to run these LEDs. I'm not particularly happy about how far on the outside it goes because that actually wraps around the side of the car. I wanted a lot of it to be more of just the back, where you saw the back. Who knows? I didn't want to have it all circled. I wanted it to have like a blade or a, a sideways V, I guess. That's what I was looking for. Who knows, maybe it'll be just the inners that get the LEDs. I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to print this up in the next video. Get this printed up and hopefully wired up so we can look at how these LEDs are going to look when they're actually wired up. That'll be cool. I can't wait to see that. Um, I'm not good enough to do animation type stuff with uh, SolidWorks, or this is Autodesk Fusion 360, but who knows? I like it visual. I'll have it in front of me. I'll be able to see it. I'll be able to hold it up next to the car and kind of like it. Really worried about the bend around the side, how the LEDs are going to look, if they're going to be spaced out super far or look super weird when you go to do it. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here and uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.